Hello, my name is Matthew Kent. Uh, very excited to uh, take this class, Leading by Serving. Looking forward to learning a lot uh, about it. Um, again, my name is Matthew Kent. Uh, my background a little bit is, uh, well, by trade, a long-term care administrator. So I was there. I worked for the Good Samaritan Society for about 10 years, uh, running nursing homes and a variety of different uh, retirement communities. Uh, right now, I currently work for Sanford Health in their human resource department where I serve as a uh, human resource advisor and I help lead a uh, region uh, for Sanford Health themselves. Uh, 41, um, my, uh, I have a wife named Tiffany and a daughter, 11 month old daughter named Abigail. Looking in my career to kind of move up in the, kind of into an executive realm at some point in time. Um, so that's kind of the trajectory that I hope to kind of attain. But, Wanting to do that in a way that uh, has a good character and um, integrity uh, as I as I grow. My current church or ministry activities, uh, we just moved to Sioux Falls here two years ago. Uh, prior to that, we were pretty heavily involved in our church through a variety of different things from uh, leading worship music to um, just helping or, uh, uh, clean the church and volunteer, do kids' church, that kind of stuff. So just try to be involved in small groups. Um, so my current understanding of servant leadership is I would say that as a leader I would be to put the priority of whomever's in front of me first. So whether that might have been the residents, that might have been a staff, uh, my job was to give people the tools and the equipment to um, help them be successful. So if they were struggling in a certain area, then my job was to um, either coach them or to provide uh, whatever it is that they needed to be successful. So it's really kind of this idea of laying down my life for other people. So I'm really a servant first, so that means I'm not above any particular task. Uh, I'm the first to uh, um, offer my services, so to speak, but I'm also the leader. Uh, so it's kind of an interesting balance and an interesting dynamic when you're you know, asked to serve and, all, and, and maybe some decisions that are difficult. And so um, I had to kind of learn through the years how to, how to balance that as, as, as well. That's kind of my current understanding of servant leadership. I would say that um, my hope is uh, in, the, in the servant leadership uh, realm to kind of the question is, is how do I balance being kind of authentic and yet kind of goal orientated with servant leadership. And I currently, um, in my current um, work with Sanford, you know, it's a very goal driven company, I feel, and very much um, you know, filled with wonderful people, but just very much goal driven. And so just trying to figure out like what's that balance between being authentic, um, being a humble leader, and yet um, being able to kind of achieve results and, and drive the drive the business. So. I think that, that for me is really kind of what I'm looking for um, in this particular course. I'm very much excited in, in, to continue to learn in this MBA program about uh, how servant leadership kind of practically works itself out uh, from a variety of different angles, not only the Christian perspective, but kind of a secular perspective as well. Uh, just trying to have that balance so I can kind of speak uh, in the business um, and lead well within the business. Um, with good character and yet um, just kind of like living out my faith, so to speak. So uh, that's that's me for now, and I look forward to um, uh, watching the other videos and uh, hearing the other replies. Thanks.